Hello, my name is Vincent Lo, representing Realtech Japan. Now, in our previous video, we discussed about setup potential and blood agglutination. Now, in this video, we are going to look into the effect of reducing ion on blood agglutination. Blood agglutination is a physiochemical phenomenon generally caused by conditions that affect the electrostatic repulsive forces of brain cells. There are many factors that can reduce set of potential and thereby increase blood viscosity and increase rate of cell agglutination. pH of the blood is one of the most important factors that affect its set of potential. Now, pH refers to the measurement of hydrogen ion or positive ion concentration in the body. If a substance pH is 0 to 6.9, it is considered acidic. If a substance is 7, 14 it is considered alkaline. The more positive ion your body contains, the more acidic it is. Now why are we too acidic? We are being bombarded every day by agents that make us acidic, such as toxins in our food, electromagnetic stress from power lines, wireless signal, chemicals, drug, and last but not least, stress. As your blood becomes more acidic, it will look for minerals from anywhere in your body to get balanced. This is where the trouble starts. Now, acidity hits your weakest organ that are already prone to disease. For example, cancer cells that it grow better in an acidic environment. On top of that, it contaminates your blood. Blood has a pH range of cell 3.5 to cell 1.45 on a regular basis. Anything out of that range is unhealthy and could possibly be fatal in extreme cases. Each of the cells is surrounded by negatively charged electrons that increase the distance between the So they frantically repel or bounce off each other, delivering their goodness at high speed. But when your blood is too acidic, they lose their negatively charged electron, causing blood cells to clump together. As they do, the blood becomes thicker or more viscous. They slush through the body at slow speed, struggling to absorb oxygen, convey nutrients, and can't expel unhealthy toxin. Cells deprived of oxygen become damaged and eventually die prematurely. In addition of pH of blood, erythrocyte agglutination is also determined by free radical generator within the cell. Now, under normal circumstances, free radicals are continuously generated in the red blood cells as a byproduct of cellular metabolism and cellular defense. However, endogenous antioxidant defense mechanisms usually prevent their deleterious effect on cellular components. Cells tend to experience oxidative stress when there is no equilibrium between the rate of free radical generation and antioxidant. Oxidative stress or other damaging effect to rate the cell's membrane may increase the tendency of cells to agglutinate, contributing for the development of various diseases. How reducing ion therapy help to overcome acidification and oxidative stress to prevent blood agglutination? Reducing ion therapy is an award-winning revolutionary invention. Reducing ion donate their ions to electron core cells. The intake of reducing ion shift an acidic pH to a weak alkaline state and also turn the oxidized state of the body into reduced state. Reducing ions in the bloodstream join with the aggregated red blood cells repelling each other because of their electrical charge and forcing them to separate. With the antioxidant effect of reducing ion, oxidation of cells is suppressed and free radical that comes into contact with the electron turns into harmless water. Reducing ion improves cells' capacity to absorb oxygen and nutrients and excrete toxic waste. This accelerates the delivery of oxygen to our cells and tissues. Active cells generate natural healing power to restore health being in an environment rich of reducing ion, therefore improve the body's immunity and resistant to illness. I hope you enjoyed this session. 
by now, you understand reducing ion on the agglutination. Stay tuned on our next video where we'll be talking about diseases such as diabetic, high blood pressure and others. Thank you for watching. How to choose negative ion therapy? It does not produce ozone. It does not release positive ion. Ion production can be proven by ion meter. Manufacturer is a certified medical organization. It provided by authorized medical device distributor. It must be scientifically proven. Why choose Reltec product? It produces more than 1 million negative ion per cubic centimeter within 1 meter constantly. Ion production can be proven by ion meter. Two forms of administration, inhalation and subcutaneous absorption. Natural material that mimics natural negative ion. Maximum coverage area. Easy maintenance and user friendly. Stability. And most importantly, we have sold more than 100,000 machines worldwide.